I've just listened to the greatest Eminem song. I am um, honestly, that was such a tune. If you're not listening to it, go listen to Eminem as his song. But what did I ask Reddit? Well, I asked him nothing. I'm stealing someone else what they asked him. Shmeef, when did you realise your partner was not in fact the one? Now, me, you're a single Pringle and you're just looking for someone just to stop the loneliness. <laughs> But I can imagine there's nothing worse than when, you know, you marry or, you, you know, you've been in a relationship for a very long time and then you realise they're an absolute donut, an absolute donkey, someone who you do not want to spend another second with. Now, I find this with everyone. The more I hang out with people, I'm like, wow, I really fucking hate you. But anyway, let's dive into it like we're opening a bag of Doritos and getting our face all cheesed up. Let's cheese relief this shit. When I realised the idea of marrying him one day secretly disappointed me. Savage. Same thing here. I was becoming more miserable. I should really um, work on my speaking, you know, and actually work on coherently speaking i pff, i'm sorry i don't know i'm just still i'm just in an m&m mood right now he's just you know slim shady's return boys da -da 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 -da. slim shade he was becoming happy completely obvious to the pain and stress i was feeling and i remember thinking one day that he might propose soon and i was filled with so much dread and sadness at the thought i realized i had to gather the strength to leave jesus poor you i have to gather the strength to fight to climb mordor and leave his soul leave him be harry potter lives the boy cannot be killed also imagine that i'm just thinking but if voldemort you know obviously voldy voldemort's a bad dude but it must be pretty depressing having trying to kill harry potter twice and he just like can't die you know what i mean i'd be really pissed off i'd just drop the wand and maybe just get like a you know a katana and see if he's you know he survives with his head rolling away from his shoulders Is that fucked up I was going to, I was going with him to my friend's destination wedding while getting ready with my friend. I had curled my hair and asked them if it looked good. My girlfriend said, oh, you missed a piece right here and helped me get it done with the rest. He immediately groaned and said, why did you tell her? We could have made fun of her together. Something about his joy at the thought of embarrassing me in front of friends really just made me realise. I mean, that's just a bit of a doofus move, isn't it? You know, why did you tell her? We should have bullied her. I like, shut up, dude. I hadn't had sex in over six months. Decided to go down on her when she woke up and the spark or she didn't move i looked up and asked what was wrong and she started crying finally admitted to my sister's eight years together move across the country to chase our dreams she had been cheating on me for months with her boss's son straight up had a boyfriend behind my back that is rough almost as bad as eat my cookie crumbs is a name bro what the hell that is oh imagine that you move across that's why you just can't trust girls what did juice world say all girls are the same when i caught her in bed with my brother your brother ain't the one too fucking too right your brother that must be the worst family jeez this isn't sad or dramatic we had a really good boyfriend girlfriend type but she got a long-term commitment my own house appeared over the horizon we both freaked out and bailed that isn't a good one i want drama i want drama when i, f I want, you know i want as much drama as a episode of keeping up with the kardashians when i felt a sense of dread when coming home to her or when i was at home and she was coming home to me wondering what tri triviality she would be angry about this time amen brother being there i used to wonder why the old guys at work just wanted to go to the pub every day after work then i got a decent job and a shit relationship and every time i got in the car i wish i'd <laughs> He just wants to get pissed. You know, that's that's nothing to do with your wife, mate. That's called alcoholism. When she threatened me with a knife and started stabbing the bed because I wouldn't want to drink more with her. Fuck. So I know who did something similar that when he tried to break up with his girlfriend, except she stabbed her bicep. This caused him to get back in the red shit. I don't understand. Fuck. I would like to leave, but then she will kill me, so I'm going to stay, I guess. Fuck. Savage. There was a picture she painted of me years ago that hung on the wall. It was beautiful and was like a whole bunch of blue triangles made of face. It's my favourite thing of me ever existed. Then one day after a couple of bad years, she got in a relatively, speak, a relatively speaking small argument with me over something and freaking out. She tore the painting and destroyed it. What a bitch. The argument was so pointless, I couldn't even remember what was about a week later. I know it sounds dumb, but when she painted that for me at the beginning of our relationship, it meant everything to me and multiple awful years. And then when I things could never go back and that painting and image and I had over, had of myself and our love and relationship would, would be forever broken and unfixable. Okay. She hated when I wasn't with her and she wasn't happy happy when I was. I once heard it put, robbed me of solitude, but denied me companionship. All right, Gandhi, good Lord, inspirational or what? When we decided, when he decided to cheat on me while I was dealing with my brother's recent suicide. Oh God, Jesus. The worst part of it was that until when then he was a wonderful husband for many years, kind, considerate. I return, Lou, lose my nearest sibling in age out of nowhere. He pulls this and expects me to be fine with it. And since I had stopped paying as much attention to him, that's savage, isn't it? Poor you. When I made him a surprise, I bought him some gym shorts and he didn't like them and start to throw a tantrum in my face tell me tell me like how dumb he looks in these shorts and how he, like how stupid they are he threw the package in my face and that was the moment i knew i had to run that's horrible you know nothing worse than spoiled little brats spoiled little shits who deserve a headbutt you know what i mean like this nothing worse than when you buy someone something and that you know they just don't quite give you any appreciation 
They're just like, oh yeah, oh yeah. When I realised he doesn't take no for an answer on anything, after growing up with parents like that, how someone responds to no is basically my first litmus test. If they're not able to handle a no, that's it. First fucking litmus test. Oh my god, this guy says he loves Sophia so much he's ready to marry her, but she's 16 years older than him. Damn, 16. Could you go out with someone who's 16 years older than you? Like a grandma, when I celebrated their growth but they were angry at mine. Another valid point, this one is so satisfying to read. A lot of my friends ask me why my relationship ended and this has ended my last two. Yeah, you know, when people aren't um, happy to see you grow, they think, you know, you, they don't want to see you actually succeed. It can be sad. And when they don't want you to succeed, uh, it just makes you want to succeed more, doesn't it? But it's hard to stay with someone and you just got to get out there. I'm not sure why I'm giving you relationship advice, but take it on the chin. She was away for college when suddenly stopped responding to my calls. Turns out she got pregnant by someone else. I was with her for five years. Five, God, that's so depressing. Imagine being uh, going out with someone and then, you know, she gets pregnant with another man's pee-pee. When I went to the airport to pick her up, flowers in hand and stood there until the last luggage had been picked before I was, she hadn't even gotten up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did she never get on or missed a flight anymore? <laughs> yeah, she just missed a flight, don't worry. Uh, we, we we were fine. She goes to me intentionally, I had to call her mother to make sure she was physical, but she just talked to me and me for like three weeks. That's shocking, isn't it? At least have the balls, at least have the courtesy, at least have the decency to tell them like this is over. You gotta run and don't look back. This is over. Being single is better than being with him. It hit me all at once like lightning strike. I've been so tired up trying to appease him and chill out. I'm okay now. Therapy changed the, ki the kind of people who I attract and keep 17 years strong with my best friend in the world. Uh, it's so fucking irritating when you end up walking on eggshells in a relationship. You micromanage yourself and it's fucking exhausting. It's a true fact. It can be pretty fucking boring. Forget about heaven if you have seen that video. Twitter is just full of dirty, dirty dogs, isn't it? Just filled with dirty, dirty dogs. He started drinking a 24 case of beer by himself, would yell at me about God knows what because he was hammered, pass out on the floor and piss himself. <laughs> piss himself. Then act like nothing happened the next day. What a winner. Alcohol is a good re reason relationship to end, to be honest. Good thing you got out. Well said, Husk. We never had an okay day. We had amazing days and awful days. Never just nice, okay. Honestly, my boyfriend and I used to be kind of like this years ago. Took a lot of working on ourselves when we were around to get past sort of drama here. And we have. Live a happy calm domestic life together. See, there's a positive. It's not all doom and gloom. When he started physically hurting my dog, my dad murdered my pets growing up. Apparently he did this long before my parents ever had any kids. I'm the third. My mum personally overlooked this as well as everything else horrid he did. Fuck you. If someone killed my dog, I would kill them in the most gruesome fashion. I'd like, you know, seize his legion, hang him from a fucking cross or, you know, I don't know, slice off their fingers individually, whatever I would do. When I found out that one of his close friends had suddenly died, I bursted to which he said, what are you and Sakura about this time? And when I said I just found out my friend died, he turned around and walked out the room the next day. I was talking to his mum about in the kitchen. She was come to which again he said, can you stop being insecure? And his mum practically tore him in the... I left him saying I'm now in a very happy... Room. That's sad, isn't it? Sad. Worth noting, we were together for almost for like five years, so... Damn. Damn, girl. Damn, five goddamn years. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know about your stories, your relationships. I want to know all the toxicity you've ever received. I want to know if you have any good ones. If you have any good advice, make sure you put it in the comments to help such miserable and lowly and sad old people. Oh, God. All jokes aside, thank you so much. We're getting like 80 subs in like two weeks. Big boner plays, ladies and gentlemen. Big boner plays. I love it. Thank you. We'll talk very soon.